The M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS, stands as a testament to the advancements in modern artillery technology. Developed by the United States and later adopted by various other countries, the MLRS has proven itself as a versatile and formidable weapon system on the battlefield. Its capability to deliver a devastating barrage of rockets over long distances with pinpoint accuracy has made it a crucial asset in both conventional and asymmetrical warfare scenarios. The genesis of the M270 MLRS dates back to the 1970s when the need for a mobile rocket artillery system capable of delivering a high volume of firepower swiftly emerged. The United States Army initiated the development program to replace the aging MGR-1 Honest John and the MIM-23 Hawk missile systems. In 1983, the first M270 MLRS unit was fielded, marking the beginning of a new era in artillery warfare. The M270 MLRS was designed to be highly mobile, capable of rapid deployment and engaging targets at extended ranges. Its modular design allows for the integration of various rocket types, providing commanders with the flexibility to adapt to different operational requirements. The M270 MLRS can launch a variety of rockets, including the M26 and M30 guided rockets, as well as the ATACMS, Army Tactical Missile System, missiles. This versatility enables it to engage a wide range of targets, from enemy artillery positions and air defense systems to fortified bunkers and armored vehicles. Mounted on a track chassis, the M270 is highly mobile and can traverse rugged terrain with ease. This mobility allows it to quickly reposition and avoid counter-battery fire, enhancing its survivability on the battlefield. Equipped with advanced fire control systems and GPS-guided rockets, the M270 MLRS can deliver devastatingly accurate fire missions, minimizing collateral damage and maximizing lethality against enemy targets. The Atagms missile, in particular, offers extended range and enhanced precision, making it ideal for engaging high-value targets deep behind enemy lines. The M270 MLRS is designed to operate within a network-centric warfare environment, enabling seamless integration with other friendly units and command centers. This interoperability enhances situational awareness and allows for coordinated fire support missions, maximizing the effectiveness of the overall combat force. The M270 MLRS has seen extensive combat deployment in various theaters of operation, including the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan. Its ability to deliver rapid and precise firepower has proven instrumental in supporting ground forces and neutralizing enemy threats. During the Gulf War in 1991, M270 MLRS units played a significant role in suppressing Iraqi artillery and air defense systems, clearing the way for coalition ground forces to advance. Similarly, in the conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, the MLRS provided critical fire support to troops engaged in counterinsurgency operations, helping to degrade enemy capabilities and protect friendly forces. To ensure its continued relevance on the modern battlefield, the M270 MLRS is undergoing various upgrades and modernization efforts. These enhancements include the integration of new rocket types with improved range and accuracy, as well as upgrades to its fire control systems and onboard electronics. Furthermore, there are ongoing efforts to develop next-generation rocket artillery systems, such as the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS, which offers increased mobility and flexibility compared to the M270. The M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System remains a cornerstone of modern artillery forces, providing unmatched firepower and precision on the battlefield. Its versatility, mobility, and lethality make it a formidable asset for military commanders facing a diverse array of threats and operational challenges. As warfare continues to evolve, the M270 MLRS will undoubtedly adapt and remain a critical component of land-based firepower for years to come.